Have you prepared any report in your career? Did you ever work on any dashboard? Are you getting confused? What is the difference between a dashboard and a report? Hi, I'm M. Asif Hussain from Nohab Academy. What are we going to learn in this video? We are going to learn what is a report, how to publish a report, what is a dashboard, how to prepare a dashboard and what is the difference between a dashboard and a report in Power BI. By the end of this video, you are going to learn and understand what is the difference between a dashboard and a report in Power BI, how to publish a report and what are the different possibilities of preparing a dashboard from a report in Power BI. So watch till the end. Here on the screen as you can see that I have a report which is sandwich sales report. So this report is basically giving me the details of how many total revenue uh, we have got in the sandwich business, how much average orders we used to get, how many sandwiches were sold, how many total orders we have received, what is the average sandwiches per order, in which month we have got the total highest orders, in which month we got the less orders. Okay, so what is the percentage uh, difference between the sandwich sizes with the sandwich category and we have more informations like this depending upon the client's requirement. Okay, so my dear viewers here, the point is that once when we prepare a report and the report is something which is prepared in a Power BI desktop, it is prepared in a Power BI desktop. So after considering the client's requirements, after doing the data transformation, after cleaning the data, after we do the data modeling, then after doing some calculations in using tax functions, then we go and prepare a report in Power BI desktop. So now the point is that after we prepare a report in Power BI desktop, now the next step is we have to publish this report into our Power BI service because we have to go and create a dashboard so that the dashboard can be shared with the client. So now the point is that I have prepared a report. So now I'll go here to uh, publish option. I have a publish option here or you can go here and select on uh, Power BI service and there you can go to Power BI service. So this is this is the way that we can go into Power BI service or we can go and log in into app.powerbi.com in the web so that directly we can log in into our Power BI service. So these are the two ways. So now what I'm doing, I'm publishing this report. So once when I publish this report, it is asking me in which particular uh, uh, workspace you have to you know, publish it. It is asking me to do the save the changes. Once the save the changes, which you, it is asking in which particular workspace you have to publish this particular report. So I have already selected it and I have already published it into my uh, uh, Power BI service. So now the point is that as you can see that this is a report. Okay. So now from this report, we have to go and prepare a dashboard. So here again, we have to understand two key points. Number one, a report can have n number of pages. So here in my Power BI report, I have two pages. One is the home page and another one is the requirements page. So these are the two pages. But you might also have 10 pages of report, 20 pages of report, n number of pages of report. That's not a problem. So if I would like to answer it in one line, a report contains the detailed view of the business. A report contains the detailed information about the business. Okay, so now you might have a question. All right, you are telling me that this is a report. Now, what is the dashboard? From this particular report that we have published in, into Power BI service, what we do as you place a cursor here on any visual, as you place a cursor here on any visual, okay, we have, we are getting a pin visual option. We are getting a pin visual option. 
So when I click on this pin visual option, it is asking me whether you would like to pin this particular visual to a new dashboard or to an existing dashboard which we already have. So if I would like to select a new dashboard and let me give the name called know how any name your choice. So what I'll do, I'll go and pin this particular visual in the same way. I'll go here and pin this visual to the newly created dashboard that I have done. So what you are doing it here, you are creating a new dashboard, but if you already have a dashboard, then you can pin to the existing dashboard as well. It again purely depends upon the requirement. So now I'll go here and I'll pin the visual. So I have pinned n number of visuals. So now let me go to the dashboard. So my dear viewers, this is the dashboard. Okay. This is the dashboard, but earlier that was a report. So now when I would like to talk to you, the difference between this report and a dashboard is that a report is the detailed information about a business, but a dashboard is the information that you have it with the precise information. So if I would like to give it to you an example, you might have some five pages of report, 10 pages of report with some hundreds of tables and hundreds of visuals, but whichever the visuals are really important, whichever the visuals are really required for the client to understand, we choose only those visuals and pin it to the dashboard. That is one case. Second case is that many developers, what they generally do is that they go and prepare just two to three pages of report with only the information which client requires and they will pin the entire dash report at once to a dashboard. So that is also one of the possibilities that we can have it. So now the concept is that when we pin any visual to a dashboard, it is directly connected with the report. So now let me show it to you. So here, what do we have? We have one, two, three, four visuals. And all these four visuals from where did we get it? We have got it from the report where we have pinned it. When I will go and click on this particular visual, then I will again directly go and land up into my particular report. So every visual in a dashboard, it is directly connected with the report. So any visual we click on a dashboard that will show up in a report. Now the point is that if I would like to talk to you in a technical terminology, this is not called a visual in a dashboard. It is called as a tile, T-I-L-E. It is called as a tile in our uh, dashboard. So like this, we can go and do some sort of editing, some sort of, inf uh, no, uh, some, you can change the theme, you can change the font size, you can change the font color. So all these things are possible here. So if I would like to change the dashboard theme, I'll go to edit and I'll select any dashboard theme. Okay. And I'll show it like this. Okay. So now it again purely depends on how you would like to show it in what way your creativity works here. In the same way, as I told that I have pinned individual visuals so that I can go and pin that into the dashboard that I have created. But how if I would like to pin the complete report to a dashboard? So for that, what I have to do, I'll go here. Okay. Pin to a dashboard. So when I click on this pin to a dashboard to the new or the existing that it is asking me again, I will go with the existing dashboard that we have created just now and I'll click on pin live. I'm pinning it live. So when I go to the dashboard, my dear viewers, you can see that the entire dashboard is here. All right. So the complete dashboard is here. As you can see that the complete dashboard is here. Okay. So what dashboard usually is, is the information that the client requires and through the dashboard, we will go and share it to the client or customer. So whenever we click on any particular report or uh, sorry, whenever we click on any particular visual, okay, on a tile in a dashboard, it directly opens up in a Power BI report that we have created. So do not get confused the difference between the report and the dashboard. Report is something which is having a detailed information about the business and which is usually prepared in a Power BI desktop. So after we publish this into Power BI service by selecting the few individual visuals, which the client requires to know and understand about the business, only those visuals we go and pin it to the dashboard. It contains the minimum information 
about the business but gives a lot of valuable insights so that's the difference between a dashboard and a report so how this particular dashboard can be edited and what is the workspace and my workspace there are uh, videos we have it in our channel so that you can have a glance at it and learn and understand so in this video we have learned how to create a report how to publish a report what is a dashboard and what is the difference between dashboard and a report and how to edit a dashboard theme in power bi in power bi thank you for choosing now have academy as your source for it knowledge we are always here to help you to navigate the tech world if you have any questions do not hesitate to reach out it's been a pleasure sharing this information with you stay curious and keep learning